The extreme group Picasa is advocating that Muslims need to grab hold of Bibles and burn them. But not just any Bible, only those that have the word Allah in them as a reference to God. Picasso's leader, Ibrahim Ali, called for a good old-fashioned Bible-burning festival and had the organisation distribute flyers promoting the event. The unsigned flyer read in part, Burn, burn, let's teach them a lesson. Chief Minister Lim Guan Eng called on local ministers to impose stringent measures to prevent such abhorrent and vile acts that would endanger national harmony and heighten religious tensions. Fifty police officers and about a dozen reporters were on hand in the field where the festival was to begin, but according to the men in charge of the region, Seberang Perai, nothing happened and everyone left by noon. However, the story doesn't end there, as strong controversy remains over the use of the word Allah in Malaysian Christian publications. In a case dating back to 2009, the Catholic News Herald won a decision against a government who had banned non-Muslims from using the word. Many Christians point out that they had been using the word Allah in worship for many years. They also explain that the word actually predates Islam. However, Muslim leaders argue that the word is exclusive to Islam and that only Muslims can use it. In a decree issued last month, the Sultan of Selangor banned the use of the word by any non-Muslim. Islamic confusion over how to live in peace has continued to splinter the Muslim population around the world. This is particularly true in Syria, where Sunni and Shiite Muslims do not agree with one another. Furthermore, each side has support from a neighbouring country. Saudi Arabia provides support to the Sunni's majority, while Iran helps the Shiite minority that holds power. What started as a peaceful protest by those opposed to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad has steadily become more and more violent and deadly over the last 22 months. As the Arab Spring Revolution continues, the level of violence and the amount of division has nearly reached the point of all-out civil war in Syria. Sectarian violence has recently escalated in the northern province of Idlib, where Sunni rebels have taken control of large areas previously held by government forces. The strife has escalated, resulting in the looting and burning of several religious sites, according to New York-based Human Rights Watch. The watchdog group reports that rebel fighters recently destroyed a temple dedicated to Shiite martyr Hussein. In an unconfirmed video, one armed rebel at the site was heard proclaiming the destruction of the dens of Shiites and Rafida. Human Rights Watch also reports that local residents spoke of armed men operating in the name of the opposition, also broke into and damaged Christian churches in two surrounding villages. The lack of cohesion within Islam has resulted in the deaths of more than 60,000 people and has forced over 650,000 people to leave the Syrian region alone. 